Hey everybody, this is Bob KK4DIV and today I got a box. The date was February 8th, 2020, and I was at the Orlando Hamcation. Got my ticket right here. And we walked by the ICOM booth, and there it was. The ICOM 705 in all of its glory. Lots of people were gathered around. There was a lot of interest in this radio. Uh, people have been hearing about it and talking about it for a long time, and we were able to finally get to see it. It was awesome. I was able to hold it and touch it. You know, they wouldn't let me take it home with me that day though. But fortunately, a booth about, you know, three or four spots down, HRO was there, but an HRO was taking orders that day. Still not sure, to, to this date, not sure if they were supposed to be, but they were. ICOM wouldn't come out and say they were, uh, but, we heard through the grapevine that they were taking orders, so we walked over to the HRO booth and put my credit card down on this little beauty right here. It's still in the box though. Let's see what's in the box. Yep, the 705. ICOM's new QRP rig. It's got D-Star, all mode, all band, from, gosh, I guess it's 160 meters all the way up to 440. Uh, five watts on internal battery, 10 watts if you hook it to an external battery. Oh. There's my receipt, came from Texas. Yep, new QRP rig. Ooh, this is a fancy box. New QRP rig. Maybe retiring some of my old QRP rigs. Might have to might have to get rid of some. What do we have here? Yeah, this is a this is a fancy box for ICOM. ICOM's up in their game. Every other radio I've ever got from ICOM was just a plain brown box, but here we go. ICOM IC705. Man. They dropped my box. Anyway. The ICOM IC705, like I said, D-Star, all mode, all band, um, made in Japan. Lots of accessories already for this radio. Um, one thing I see here is this backpack. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the backpack, but it's a neat idea. But this is an unboxing video, so let's unbox this thing. You know, I got a comment the other day on one of my videos it says, what's up with all these unboxing videos? It's like they're on a power trip or, or something, tooting their own horn, whatever the guy said. You know what, whatever dude. I personally, I like to watch unboxing videos and obviously there's people out there that do like to watch unboxing videos. So here's my unboxing video of the 705. Lots of manuals here. Um, Manual Basico, Espanol, Notice de Base, I don't know. Ah, here we go. Basic manual. So, pretty good manual it looks like. It's, you know, not real thick. I can see there's gonna be a lot to learn here about this radio. We're not gonna go into the manual there, but just be aware there's three manuals in three different languages. I'm guessing that's Spanish. I'm guessing that must be French. I don't know. I don't speak French. All right, we got some cardboard. It's well packaged. We got we got some fuses and a little looks like a headphone adapter of some sort and some a rubber grip 
sticky on one side, rubbery on the other. Not sure what that's for. This looks like a power cord, fused. Uh, one end has got a round plug, and I'm assuming the other end is gonna be just bare wire. Yeah, bare wire. So we can maybe put some power poles on that. Got a little microphone. Let's see, get this gone. There's the battery. The cool thing about this battery, and I'm sure a lot of people already know, this is the same battery that's used in the, uh, some of the HTs that they have. So this is the battery that when you plug it into the radio, that radio is gonna default to five watts. But if you have it in an external power so source, uh, the radio will do uh, 10 watts. Uh, I believe that's sideband. But uh, that's cool. Uh, I believe these uh, batteries are going to be readily available. So, you know, you could have four or five of them and they don't take up a lot of space. I'm sh not sure what how much runtime you're going to get out of one of these batteries, but it's certainly something to keep an eye on. Uh, this is uh, 7.4 volts, 1,880 milliamp hours and 14 watt hours. Uh, that's the BP272 battery. So you get one of those batteries in the box. <laughs> this is what we've all been waiting for right here. All right. And there she is. The IC705. You see we've got the battery compartment here in the back. We've got a ground post. Your BNC antenna. We've got micro USB. I believe that's for cat and uh, cat control and all that. There's a place for your key, a tuner, and ALC send slash ALC on there. That's where your power source comes in. On this side, we got places for your speaker mic, places for a micro SD card for uh, programming, storing your memories, and then you can transfer them to another IC705, I'm sure. We'll go ahead and take this plastic cover off. And that's a mighty fine looking radio right there. Let's go ahead and plug this in. And power. ICOM IC705. Oh, it's got like, like maybe a, a quarter power. So, you know, could have shipped it with a full battery. But anyway, first impressions, it's, uh, it's a little bit heavier than, say, my uh, RS918. A uh, little uh, Chinese radio. Uh, it's about, I would say it's probably about the same weight as the 817. Maybe a little bit heavier. I don't think it's as streamlined as the 817. So it's a little bit chunkier to be carrying around in a backpack. Um, it's a little less streamlined than the RS918 that I have. But I think this is going to have a lot more capability than either one of those radios. Um, just being a, a all mode, all band radio, including D-Star, I think is is fantastic. It's it's got a band scope on there, uh, lots of things, and I'm not going to go into all the details. There's lots of great videos out there already, but I just want to get on here and show what you get in the box with this radio, and I think I've accomplished that mission. So this is it. This is the first impression, first unboxing, first view of the ICOM 705 here at KK4DIV's Ham Shack. We're going to get out with this radio hopefully this weekend and play around with it a little bit. Um, but right now, I am going to end this video. I'm going to plug it into my power supply. And I'm going to uh, see if I can make a contact with it. So it's time to play. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. 
Remember, if you like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and we'll catch everybody in a future video. 73 from Bob KK4DIV. Bye-bye.